Hey everybody, this is Matt. I'm making a new Heroclix video, and this is my Starfighter 52's Heroclix booster battle for September. So, if you don't know what a booster battle is, it's basically I open up one booster pack a month, and depending on what I pull, they're worth a, a certain amount of different points. So, I'm going to pop the, the points card up right now. Okay, so as you can see in the point card, if I pull a chase piece, it's worth 10 points. If I pull a super rare piece, it's worth 5 points. If I pull a prime piece, it's worth 3 points. If I pull any extra pieces like, uh, you know, uh, like a... Uh, it clicks effects or even just a little uh, puck that comes with a piece that's worth two points and then and then after I'm done looking at all that I look at all the char character cards and, and I count up every trait and every trait is worth a quarter of a point and then I just calculate it all together and say that's how much my point my booster was worth you know and it's fun for everybody to do something like this because it could be like you know, my booster is 5.25. Well, my booster is better. Mine's 5.50. Five and a half. My booster is better. So it's just a fun little thing I like to do each month. And you're welcome to participate in it. All you have to do is just make a video and uh, put in your title, uh, Hero Clicks Booster Battle. And, um, and just, uh, you know, have fun with it. So uh, I got me another booster of Uncanny X-Man. I know Superior, Sp Superior Foes of Spider-Man is the newest set. But there's so little in that set I want. While, you know, there's still a few things in the X-Men set I want to get. And I love the X-Men. I'm probably going to buy them as long as my local store keeps having some boosters for it. And I think they have five left. So I've been buying like almost once a week or, you know, once every now and then. So let's just jump into it and see what I get. I'm gonna crack open the outside of it, and let's just, okay, let's see what I got, I don't know what I got, I'm not looking, okay, so what I got was, let me zoom in, I got a rare Cyclops, I got an Uncommon Vanisher, who is a fantastic taxi. I got a John Greyhorn, Grey Crow. I got a Harpoon. <laughs> His Harpoon's really bent, though. And I got a Thunderbird. Okay, so no super rare chase. That's all right. You know, I've been pulling really good from this stuff. Uh, I pulled a Rogue like a week ago out of a booster pack. I pulled uh, Iceman twice, I, no, at least once, a Scarlet Witch, a Mr. Sinister. I've been kind of on a roll, honestly, so I don't, I don't really hate, you know, not pulling anything super, super rare or anything. Let's see, uh, okay, so since we got all that, we're going to look at the traits now. Um, let's just count some of these things up. We got, let me zoom in on this, thing. okay, so we got... Two traits on this dude. The good thing about X Men set is, Uncanny X Men. There's a lot of traits on pieces. So two traits on him, so that's a half a point. Two traits on him, so that's a half a point. Two traits on him, so that's a half a point. No traits and no traits. Okay, so that's a, a point and a half. Oh man, this is gonna be like probably the uh, the lowest point booster I think I've ever oh, ever opened because I didn't get like anything with it. But I will say I like Cyclops and this Cyclops is pretty cool. This Cyclops is pretty cool. Um, let me click into his first click. So, as you can see, he has Running Shot Psychic Blast. He's 85 points with the X-Men team ability. This is based off like the, the current X-Men stuff um, design. And he has a special, has a special damage power, which is kind of cool. Um, it is... Leading the next generation, Cyclops can use leadership. When he does and succeeds, he may instead remove the action token from any other friendly character within range that shares a keyword with him. So, um, he doesn't have to have line of fire. Um, just, they have to be within range. And of course, um, of course they have to follow normal leadership roles. So they have to be less than the 85 points. For him to take a token off of him. 
but uh, that's still really really cool. I mean, I could see I could see somebody having like a like like let's see, he's 85 points, so you could run 85 points. It's 190. No, it's no, it's 170. And then could you run another one? Yeah, you could run three of him, and basically they you'd have three leaderships going that any of them could clear off a token from another one of them. I don't know. It, it was a play on another uh, team I had made where I ran a bunch of the uncommon Cyclops, the one that's in the blue suit, um, because they all they're all 50 points and they all had um, they all had leadership and they could just uh, it, you know I had five of them on a team and it was just like how many times can I hit leadership with this and the odds were pretty low actually but now this is Vanisher he's pretty cool he's a great little taxi and uh, if my friend hadn't given me a one one a while back I would be pretty pretty happy to get this dude uh, you know he's cool because he has x-force keyword and he can use phasing teleport stealth and the carry ability to carry up to three characters so you don't have to share a keyword with him or anything he's just a 40 point dude that can carry three other characters and that's great because and also don't don't forget that he can also carry on top of carrying the three characters he can carry a tiny character because that's how it works basically the way it works with carry is um, let's say you're a flyer let's say you're a, just a normal sized flyer well, the the wing itself, uh, flight gives you the ability to carry a non-winged normal-sized person, but also there's an innate ab ability to carry a small piece because you're a bigger because you're normal size. So you, so a, a normal flyer could carry a normal boot and a tiny piece. So this dude, because he has carry, he can carry three people. He can use the carry three people, the carry three people, and then also use his innate because he's normal size to carry a tiny piece. So that works out really good with stuff like, um, well, like any of the tiny pieces, like Crypto or Dexter or Dupe. I think Dupe is tiny. I was trying to think of X Men tiny pieces, and there's not that many of them. But dupe, I think, is a tiny piece. Um, it works out really good for a lot of tiny pieces. And tiny pieces are just so fun to run anyways. They really are. I'm trying to think if there's any tiny pieces in this set. I can't... Mm, it's, it's hard for me to remember. It's like really early in the morning for me. But um, still, I mean, that's awesome. And he can carry pieces. I actually, because he has the Brotherhood of Mutants keyword, I was using him to carry... Um, the Magneto that's not flying, Juggernaut, and Mystique in one battle. And it worked out pretty good. It worked out pretty good. Um, Warpath. Let's see. Oh, this is Thunderbird. Thunderbird is crappy. I'm just going to say it, dude. I, they gave him this ability that it's just kind of dumb. It, it's just kind of dumb, okay? <laughs> it's just kind of dumb, okay? Um, that ability is his death remembered. Uh, when Thunderbird is no, when Thunderbird is KO'd, no, that's not it. No, no, that's not it. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Punching a fighter jet. Thunderbird can use exploit weakness when he does KO him after actions resolve. Really? It's like Thunderbird can be offensive, but he basically dies afterwards. I mean, it's it's like a bee, dude. He stings somebody and just dies. Oh, I can never play him because of that, dude. I can never play him against because of that. You know, and I, I honestly think, in my honest opinion, I'm kind of just critiquing this whole booster. Honestly, thinking they kind of shouldn't have put so many Marauders in this set. Oh, here is Harpoon with his <laughs> both sides of the Harpoon. That's just depressing, dude. Come on, dude. Can I? Can I? Oh, okay. well, I don't know, but this Harpoon is not gonna. It, this is not gonna go very far. Um. I don't really like all the Marauders in this set because I wanted to see more X-Men and stuff, you know? And, um, well, uh, when, okay, let's just see his ability. His ability is, they all have the Mutant Massacre ability, which is kind of, eh. But pin him down when Harpoon hits with a ranged attack, the hit target can't be moved or placed until your next turn. 
that's not bad for 50 points um he has six range sidestep and range comp i mean he's not bad for 50 points i may have to try him out i still don't like marauders though no i would have rather had more brotherhood of mutants or maybe some more shiar pieces or i don't know i just don't really care about the marauders okay and then we have john gray crow which is a weird weird name oh weird weird name um okay so he starts out with running shot willpower and leadership 60 points i will say i, I really like the set because every piece is so affordable and you know i guess i have an army of marauders now to try out um he also has the mutant massacre trait and then he has making weapons to hunt give him a power action to equip a standard object in an adjacent square or a square he occupies if it's a standard light object he can use precision strike if it's a standard heavy object he can use psychic blast so that means he could uh turn into running shot precision strike or running shot psychic blast with willpower you know what he's not bad at all i still don't like marauders <laughs> they should have i don't know i mean i think i did a, i think i did a, uh, a study recently where like i think there was like 14 marauders in uncanny x-man it's pretty freaking crazy how many marauders there are dude you don't think about it until you just start looking at all the keywords and you're like, holy crap, that's a lot of freaking marauders. So that was my team, everybody. I didn't pull very much. I Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just double check, double check my point total. One and a half points, everybody. Woo! That was, that's a stinker of a booster pack. But there are some redeemable pieces. I'm not saying the pieces aren't good. I'm just saying I didn't get a lot of points on that. One and a half, one and a half, everybody. Beat that, beat that, people. I know you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, but um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun talk, uh, listening to me rant about these weird pieces, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic time playing Hero Clicks in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this, watch this video, and support the channel. And uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye bye.